Hi, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams, and my goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, buying, and investing goals. So today's topic is on how home inspections will actually save you money. Again, before we get started, I wanted to point out two really cool things on the website to the right. First is a really great tool that you can use to get a free home uh, value estimate instantly on your own home, and then second, of course, is our buyer site, and this link is actually going to bring you to real-time listings from all brokerages for all homes across the entire Wasatch Front. Now back to our inspecting topic. So number one, you can choose your home inspector. That's cool in the state of Utah. See, in here, the inspectors aren't actually required to be licensed. So be sure your real estate professional can recommend an inspector or you can find one on your own. See, members of the National Association of Home Inspectors must complete an improved home inspector training program, demonstrate experience and competence as a home inspector, complete a written exam, and adhere to the NAHI standards of practice and code of ethics. That's a good thing. Remember what I said, in Utah, they don't have to have a license. So make sure you get somebody that's held to a higher standard. Number two, home inspections are intended to point out adverse conditions, not necessarily cosmetic flaws. You should attend the inspection and follow the inspector throughout the inspection so you can learn what's important and what's not. No house is perfect and an inspection on any home is bound to uncover faults. A home inspector will point out conditions that need repair or potential safety related concerns uh, regarding the home. They're not going to comment on cosmetic items if they don't impair the integrity of the property. They also do, uh, they do not do like destructive testing. All right. Number three, home inspection reports include only the basics. You see, a home inspector considers hundreds of items during an average inspection. The home inspection should include the home's exterior, steps, porches, decks, chimneys, roof, windows, doors, and inside they're going to look at attics, electrical components, plumbing, uh, central air, air conditioning, basement, crawl spaces, garages. Right? They report on the working order of items such as faucets to see if they leak or garage doors to see if they close properly. Inspectors may point out termite damage and suggest that you get a separate pest inspection if that's the case. The final written report should be concise and super easy for you to understand. Number four, home inspectors work for the party who's paying the fee. That's the buyer. The NAHI standards of practice and code of ethics clearly state that the members act as an unbiased third party to the real estate transaction and will discharge the inspector's duties with integrity and fidelity to the client. A reputable home inspector will not conduct a home inspection or prepare a home inspection report if his or her fee is contingent on untruthful conclusions. The inspector should maintain client confidentiality and keep all report findings private unless required by a court order, of course. That means it is your choice whether or not to share the report with others. If you're a seller, you don't have to disclose the report to buyers, but you must disclose any failure in the systems or integrity of your home. Number five, inspectors are not responsible for the condition of the home. See, inspectors don't go behind walls or under flooring, so it's possible that there could be a problem that's overlooked. Keep in mind that inspectors are not party to the sales transaction. So if you buy a home where an expensive problem surfaces after the sale, you won't be able to make the inspector liable or get the inspector to pay for the damage. In fact, you may not be entitled to any compensation beyond the cost of the inspection. As a buyer, you need the home inspection to decide if the home is in a condition that you can tolerate. You can use the report to show to the seller the need for certain repair or negotiate a better price if necessary. You can also take the report to a contractor and use it to make repairs or to remodel a section of the home. One thing you should not do when buying a home is skip having the home inspected because of a call, uh, of because of cost, rather, or undue pressure by your seller. You see, a home inspection is reasonable. It can save you money in the long run, and it's required by a lot of lenders, particularly for FHA loans. There's a reason why buyers should be aware, and a home inspection gives you the information that you need to make a sound buying decision. So be sure on older homes to have the plumbing and the sewer main lines inspected as well. Additionally, you can talk to your home inspector about add-ons to the basic inspection that might include things like a radon test, a mold test, a meth test, uh, infrared camera uh, use to see issues that are behind the wall. Most competent, qualified inspectors your agent refers to you will include these add-ons. And as usual, if you have any questions about inspections or anything housing related, feel free to send me an email or just give us a call. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video.